Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you what iCal is. Okay, let's take a look. So this is iCal, it's basically a calendar that you can customize it the way you like. You can view iCal by month, day, week, or year. If you ever want to go to a specific day, go ahead and just double click on it and it'll jump to that day. Of course you can click these arrows and go back or forth and if you ever want to just go back to today's date click the today and wherever you are you will just jump back to today's date which is February 15th okay so let's start adding something in here you can add anything by just double clicking on it and add some kind of events let's say there's a meeting also, let's say I have to do a report by next Wednesday. Also, if you can add any events by clicking this plus sign and directly putting in the date and the event. So let's say it's uh, Josh's birthday this Friday. it automatically creates it. Now let's dig in deeper. You can customize these events the way you like it. So let's say this is Josh's birthday. It's not an all day event, so let me uncheck it and set a time. Let's say we're gonna meet 10 in the morning and it'll end like round three. Of course, his birthday is every year, so you can go ahead and click every year and it'll always let you know that Josh's birthday is on February 17th but I'm not gonna do that show if I'm busy that day or free I think this is really stupid but anyway I'll just click free it's a home alert now you can set alert in iCal's like say I want you know this computer to remind me that it's his birthday the day before I can do that here so I'd go with like message me with sound you can click whatever sound you like um, let's go with the funk okay and I want to know like the day before so I have time to go buy presents so let's do one days before alert I can also set another alert like let's say I want it to email me to make sure that I know but I'm not gonna do that right now you can also add invites like your friends if you have any in your address but go ahead and add them here and you can invite them and let them know that you have a birthday if you don't want to send emails then just add them in the note like Chris is coming or something Anyway, you can also add attachments, maybe you have a map, a location, of course a URL, so, you know, if you have a birthday party at a restaurant or something. So after you customize it, just click the done, and there you go, you just added. If you want to edit it, just double click it and click the edit button. Okay, so let's edit these as well. Let me edit this. It's not home, it's actually work. And I'll just leave the rest like this. Let me edit that as well. Okay, in iCal, you can basically schedule your events in the calendar. If you don't want to write down your schedules in these dates, you can actually set up reminders as well. So regardless of which month you're in, if you just want a reminder, just go to File, New Reminder. And in here you can create reminders like, let's say, you want to make sure you go to the gym. And after you go, you can just check it. Also let me add another one, I just double clicked. Let's say I really want to make sure I write that report. So I'll go like, write report paper, 
and let me customize this more I just double click on it and I can set priorities like high due dates I want to make sure I finish it so I set up an alert I can make sure it emails me but I'm not gonna set that up right now oh yeah and it's work and like so go ahead and customize it the way you like and after you're done just check it once you customize iCal the way you like I'm sure you'll have like a lot of your events scheduled in here so if you ever want to just view your work schedule and your home schedule just uncheck one of these and you'll only look at your working schedule or your just personal life schedule like that so that's another tip. Anyway, that's iCal. Thanks for watching.